Holy Spirit empowers us. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. John chapter 7, verses 37 to 39. On the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit, which those believing in him would receive, for the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. The Holy Spirit empowers us. He brings the very power of God into our lives. That's why Jesus said in Acts 1.8, He says, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. So imagine you and I have become recipients of the very power of God because the Holy Spirit has come to us, to dwell in us, and to rest upon us. He has come to baptize us. He's come to anoint us. And so we have the very power of God flowing through us. And Jesus said, when you receive this power, you will be his witnesses. That means we will be witnesses. We will be signposts pointing people to Jesus. We will be testifying. We will be speaking. We will be proclaiming about Jesus Christ. But we will do it with the power of God. That means there will be the demonstration, there will be the expression of the very power of God through our lives as we testify or bear witness to Jesus Christ. Now, in John 7, Jesus said that those who believe in Him, out of them, out of their being, out of their heart, will flow rivers of living water. And the Bible explains us there that explains to us that, that that is the power of the Holy Spirit. So the very presence and power of the Holy Spirit actually flows out of us like rivers of living water. So I want you to understand that the power of the Holy Spirit is waiting to be expressed through your life so that others can be touched and, and you can bear witness to Jesus Christ with demonstrations of that power. And that power of the Holy Spirit is it will flow out of you like rivers of living water out of your spirit to bless the needs of people now you can express that power by laying hands on the sick and praying for their healing by commanding evil spirits to leave by breaking bondages off of people's lives by releasing that miracle working power into circumstances and situations so that people can experience god's touch in their lives the holy spirit empowers you to testify to Jesus Christ with His power. Let's pray. Spirit of God, we thank You that Your power flows out of our lives like rivers of living water to heal, to set captives free, to work miracles. Do mighty things through our lives so that we can bear witness to our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.